despite what some people will lead you to believe, dropshipping is bigger than ever. And in today's video, I want to share with you one of the most legendary dropshipping stores out there. This store will go down in the dropshipping lore as one of the biggest dropshipping stores that ever existed. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're this close to 100K and you really should subscribe before we get there. That'd be pretty special. But let's not waste any time. The store is called Wayfair. I'm sure you probably heard of it, but maybe you haven't. It's basically just a furniture home store. So they sell a bunch of furniture, they sell a bunch of home decor, different appliances. They sell basically everything that you could imagine related to your home. And the reason why they can do that, the reason why they can have such an extensive catalog is because they actually drop ship most of their products. As you see here, they basically have a tab at the bottom where you can sell your stuff on Wayfair and you have to ship it yourself. So they basically turned into a marketplace where they host all of these different products from different manufacturers, a lot of them being in China, that will just ship directly to the customers that shop on Wayfair. So this is like a dropshipping store on steroids. And crazy enough, like I showed you a little bit earlier, the dropshipping search trend is continuing to make higher highs. And Wayfair being kind of the leading store that is running this model, they're actually worth $6 billion, if you didn't know. And what I'm starting to see is basically something I was predicting years ago is that dropshipping will only get more and more popular. And I'm not just talking about a high school kid wanting to start a business and finding dropshipping. I'm talking about some of the biggest corporations in the world. I believe more of them will start using dropshipping as a way to streamline their fulfillment and avoid a lot of issues when it comes to actually getting orders fulfilled. I'm pretty sure Apple was doing this way before it was popular. And this interesting operation system was one of the reasons why they became so big. AliExpress is one of the popular places that you can find products to add to your stores when you're just starting on Shopify. But if you are starting a dropshipping store and you really want to take it seriously, what I recommend you do is you use USA Drop to actually source AliExpress products for you. So this way you can actually have it stored in a private warehouse and have a more streamlined fulfillment operation that's not running on AliExpress. So what's really cool about USA Drop is that you can get any product from AliExpress quoted and they'll be able to store it in China and ship it for you. These guys are the first American made fulfillment center in China. So they really understand what people in the US are searching for. And besides all the products that you can get quoted, they already have a wide list of winning products that again, you could start selling into international countries, into new markets, finding untapped markets to make a ton of money in. Another really cool thing to mention is that USA Drop actually does have a US warehouse where they can ship products in three to five days so that's another huge advantage and as you can see there's some really high quality products on here so make sure you guys check out usa drop you'll find their link in the description they're one of the channel sponsors so it's always much appreciated when you guys support some of those links in the description but wayfair now it's just on a whole new level i mean they're posting daily on every social media platform they got over 10 million monthly views on pinterest which makes a ton of sense for a store like this right home decor and Pinterest are like peanut butter and jelly basically. And then of course they have a ton of different ads. And I will say as well that they basically sell worldwide. Like they have different stores for different international markets, which is such a clever way to sell in untapped markets. That's one of the easiest ways that you'll succeed nowadays is by taking things that work in the US and applying them to Germany, for example, or Italy or something. But unfortunately, if you look up their reviews for Wafer, you won't find a ton of positive things. So a lot of people are satisfied with their prices and stuff like that. They do have really good prices, but unfortunately their service Service isn't the best and since they do drop ship a lot of products not everything goes according to plan but that's one of the sacrifices that you make whenever you drop ship your products and this store is just an amazing example that just goes to show how far you could actually make it with that business model obviously this is like an extremely complex business but if you boil it down to its roots it's basically just a drop shipping store but that's basically all I got today just a little bit of lore for the drop shipping community that's it see you guys in my next video